This is the new Apollo Phantom V2, which looks almost exactly like the Apollo Phantom V1. So to find out what changed, we put them both through identical performance tests and compared the parts piece by piece. And what we found was a surprising number of differences. In this review, we'll cover 12 key changes, including one feature that gets deleted entirely, plus seven updates that Phantom V1 owners can get for free. The original Phantom made headlines when it was released because it was an all new, all original flagship scooter. It had so much new stuff, it became the new standard for what people expect from a light heavyweight electric scooter. The Phantom V1 wasn't perfect, but it was the most complete feature set in its class. Now, Apollo has taken everything they've learned from the last six months and refined it again into the Phantom V2. Let's see what's new. The Phantom V2 is currently on sale as a pre-order from Fluid Freeride in the US with a choice of mechanical disc brakes, zoom hydraulics, or nut hydraulic brakes. One of the most noticeable upgrades on the V2 is the new brighter center display. As before, it's huge and well laid out, but now it's easy to read even in direct sunlight. It tells you everything you need to know, including whether your turn signals are on and has one completely unique feature. It shows the remaining miles of range based on your battery voltage. We tested the accuracy of this feature and found that in top performance mode, it was optimistic by 11.8 miles throughout our entire 31.4 mile range test. So if you ride fast like we do, be sure to subtract 12 miles from the remaining range and you'll always make it home. One of our favorite things about the Phantom is the folding mechanism. It uses a cloth style latch with an additional safety feature we've dubbed the grenade pin. This system is rock solid with zero wobble, but over time it can develop a stem creak similar to what we've seen on Dualtrons but a little lithium grease sorts that right out. To set the scooter upright, unfold the stem, push the lever upwards, rotate the collar to secure the lever in place, and then press the grenade pin through the stem. The pin on the V2 now includes a leash, so you won't lose it. However, you can also fit the pin back through the hole once folded to keep it from bouncing around. The plastic safety collar has also been updated with stronger material. Like other Apollo scooters, the Phantom V1 and V2 have IP54 water resistance ratings. However, you should always stay out of deep water since no retailers cover water-related damage regardless of IP rating. The Phantom V2 now comes with a much stronger steel kickstand, replacing the aluminum stand from the V1. This prevents the stand from bending and leaning over too much when parked. The steel kickstand is also part of the upgrade kit for V1 owners. On both versions, the side stand is designed to act as a crash slider, protecting the charge ports in the event of a tip over. The V2 takes charge port protection a step further, adding knurled metal screw-on charge port covers. They have a rubber seal to keep out water, and we think they look really cool. And finally, the hardest build quality upgrade to see. The frame is two millimeters thicker at the gooseneck in response to a small number of V1 scooters developing cracks. The Phantom rounds out its feature set with the most complete toolkit ever. Tools, spare inner tubes, and spare brake pads in a zippered pouch. There are too many updates to cover in this review, but here's a comprehensive list. Items in bold come with a free upgrade kit for V1 owners. The ride is fast and smooth. There's no particular element of ride quality that stands out from the rest, and that's what's good about it. Everything just feels good, from the improved thumb throttle, ultra ergonomic grips and bars, to the long, grippy deck and quad spring suspension. The Phantom feels solid and fun. When the V1 came out, we thought the hard plastic throttle lever looked and felt a bit cheap but loved the ergonomics because it kept our brake fingers from getting cramped up during long rides. The new rubberized reduced dead zone thumb throttle on the Phantom V2 is a welcome upgrade. The rubber thumb pad has a premium feel and the initial dead zone is reduced from 14 millimeters to a much more typical six millimeters of motion before the throttle engages. Pro tip, thumb throttles work best when you anchor your thumb. Plant your knuckle on the grip and then rock the tip of your thumb into the throttle so bumps in the road won't make it from your arm to your thumb. The V2 throttle is also part of the V1 upgrade kit and Apollo has a video covering how to install it. The key switch gets completely deleted since it's part of the V1 throttle. We don't think we'll miss it though. The 10x3 tubed pneumatic tires on both Phantoms are simply put, the best feeling tires ever fitted to a production scooter. They're mounted on split rims for easy tire changes and now come with higher quality inner tubes that are more resistant to flats. 
As always though, checking your tire pressure at least once a week is your best defense against pinch flats. The Phantom is definitely big dog approved. However, we recommend adding more preload for heavier riders. Here are a couple guidelines. In our updated performance tests, the Phantom V2 has a certified top speed of 39.7 miles per hour, gaining 6 tenths versus our V1 Phantom. The V2 has great acceleration, but doesn't launch with arm yanking torque. The initial acceleration of the V2 has been smoothed out slightly relative to the V1 and reaches 15 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds. On the other hand, our test revealed that the V2 has faster top end acceleration, with the V2 arriving at 35 miles per hour first. The Phantom V2 climbed our 10% grade, 200 foot long test hill in 9.1 seconds. While the uphill acceleration isn't likely to give you an adrenaline rush, the V2 will sustain high 30s up typical city hills. So it has no trouble keeping up with cars if you like to flow at the speed of traffic. The Phantom 2 surprised us with 10% more range than we measured on our pre-production Phantom V1, covering 31.4 miles in top performance mode, putting it on par with some of the best light heavyweight scooters. The brakes on the V1 had a little too much initial bite, while the revised brake pads on our V2 felt more consistent throughout. The V2 with mechanical disc brakes came to a stop from 15 miles per hour in 10.4 feet, two tenths shorter than our V1 with hydraulic brakes. Both scooters have the same 160 millimeter rotors, but the V2 has revised brake pads for better stopping distance and better resistance to squeaking. According to Apollo, the new brake pad compound also lasts longer. Like all light heavyweight scooters, the Phantom is not super portable, just barely passing our trunk test. The cutout on the footrest makes a good handhold for lifting the scooter into the trunk, but does let water spray through when riding in hard rain. Fortunately, the hole is small enough that riding with your foot on the rear footrest completely blocks any stray water spray from getting through. Fender placement has also been revised on the V2 for improved water deflection. The Phantom's lighting package is pretty close to perfect. The high mounted 1000 lumen headlight, front deck lights, and bright orange rear turn signals are easy to see in daytime or night. The only downside to the lighting configuration is that the turn signals are still only on the rear, meaning the drivers facing you won't know if you're turning against them in traffic. The rubberized deck is gorgeous and easy to keep clean, and with the logo now molded into the rubber rather than printed on the surface, it's more scuff resistant. Size-wise, this is one of the few decks that doesn't leave our feet searching for another inch of space while riding. Pros include best ergonomics, excellent handling, bright high mounted headlight, and bright next generation display. Cons from V1 included flimsy kickstand, display could be brighter. Cons from V2, still no front turn signals. The Phantom V1 threw down the gauntlet with the most complete feature set we'd ever seen. The new Phantom V2 with better build quality, smoother performance, and updated display hits the target again as one of the best dual motor scooters for all around riding experience. And with the new thumb throttle, nothing's got better ergonomics. To see what we thought of the V1 when it first came out, check out our review of the original Apollo Phantom. And if you'd like to dive deeper, check out the Apollo Phantom Deep Dive.